Hi, my name is Juriel Salman and welcome to Women in Construction. In today's show, we'll be getting into and discussing what role women can play into this up to now male dominated industry. During World War II, when the men were off fighting, women had to do their part in the construction industry, but has now changed back in the 21st century. Today in the UK, only 15% of the UK's construction industry jobs are fulfilled by women. Maria Wright from the Ealing Council can tell us more. So Maria, what is your job? My job is a schools partnerships coordinator and one of the things that I do is I work with primary, secondary and special schools to make links with employers, education providers and training providers so that they can find out about jobs and careers and pathways for their future. One of the most important aspects of that job is to ensure that children and young people in Ealing meet people from the world of work mm -hmm. and so what we have is volunteers coming from many sectors going into schools speaking to them about what they do every day in work. So how is it working? Yeah, it's good. Um, in the main I work with schools. Uh, we support schools with careers related learning and employer engagement. And what that means is I've had to build lots of contacts with employers, education providers, training providers. And what we're trying to do is match schools up with um, employers and, and those providers. The purpose of that is that children and young people from an early age, both in primary and secondary school, can see a variety of job roles and sectors but most importantly that they can meet people from the world of work. Mm -hmm. So when we support schools with careers events, we really try and ensure that there are lots of male and female uh, volunteers mm -hmm. that can really show children and young people, show them the jobs that they could be doing in the future. Um, we're fortunate that we have lots of good relationships with uh, developers in Ealing, with uh, construction companies and m more and more what we're finding now is we are coming across more organisations that agree with us, I'd say mainly in construction because of the shortage of uh, young people coming forward to take up those careers. Mm. But we're also working with uh, providers to ensure that children and young people know the pathways and the different ways that they can actually get themselves into those kind of jobs mm. whilst looking at the labour market information in London which tells us that there is going to be and is already a huge shortage in, in the construction industry. Mm. Thank you. Coming up in the studio today we have some guests to talk about what it's like to be a woman in construction but before that let's take a look at this. Hello everyone. My name is Mandy and I'm Head of Construction here at Park Royal College. You can see the wonderful facilities behind me. We have electrical, carpentry, plumbing and brickwork. We have many trades here and as a college and my own personal vision is a key focus of getting unemployed women into the workforce. And so there are so many exciting opportunities for you and there's a growing demand for women in construction. If there are any women today who are watching and you are interested in coming to learn with us here at Park Royal, please visit www.wlc.ac.uk. My name is Mandy and I'm Head of Construction and I'm a woman. Thank you. That was Mandy Bahara, the course leader at West London College Construction Department. So Maria, we just saw students in various construction skills. How important is this? I think it's really important for children and young people to be able to see f that kind of footage so that they could actually imagine and visualise themselves doing that kind of work in the future. Mm. Are there other avenues for people to get into this career path? Yes, there are lots of organisations that are willing to support, but one charity specifically that does that is called Women Into Construction, mm. and one of their aims is to work with women who may be looking to go back into the workplace um, and even potentially retrain to go and work in this industry so they would provide access to training, work experience and all the support that they need to actually find a job. Mm. 
Now let's hear from two young women who have taken this path to find jobs in the industry. Hi, my name is Emily. I'm currently doing a Women in Construction course. It's a five week course. Um, once we, we do three weeks of training, uh, we do our level one health and safety, and then we go on to do the CSCS test card. I've already got my level one health and safety, and uh, I've got my CSCS card as well, which is basically the card that gets you into the construction site and you can start work as a labourer. And once I finish this course, I get to go to two weeks work placement, and then I'm looking to go into painting and decorating and carpentry. I wouldn't say it's necessarily a man's world. I just think there's a lack of women in the construction industry because um, it's not really tailored for women. And I think this women's in, in construction organization is a great way for women to actually get into construction like myself. I've always wanted to be in the construction industry. I just didn't have a way to get in. And getting onto the schools is a great way to actually get my foot into the door. So I have a health and social care and customer service background. But since I was little, I've always wanted to get my hands into construction, get my hands dirty. And when I was little, I used to always go to work with my dad, bricklaying, plastering. So that's always been my interest, but I just couldn't quite get my foot into the door, as I said, yeah. The reason why I would like to join the construction field is because the industry is very welcoming and there is plenty of opportunities for women there. I'd like to work in health and safety because it's not just a job, it is a career path. Uh, definitely I'm looking forward to progress in occupational health where I can look after staff that are also doing very meant. Health and safety is not just a job for me, it's a career path, it's a job that I'd like to progress in, it's my passion. So I'd like to do uh, occupational health as well, which I can look after the people and those environments. This is just another way that interested ladies can get information and help if they want to get into the construction business. Hi, I'm Anna. I'm the project manager for Women Into Construction and our mission is to change the face of construction. We are a charity and we are um, helping women to find employers, to find uh, work placements and employ employment in the industry. We're working with West London College to deliver this by running employment programmes. The college offers the women um, a ticket, which is a CSCS card, to get into building sites, which is a health and safety card, and also work skills. So we're working on people's CVs and once the women have done their CV and they have a CSCS card, they come to us and I've placed them with construction employers. Um, they go on a group site visit and visit a building site in action. They also stay for two weeks for a placement and get a bit of an idea of what different roles are entailing. We have run five successful pro programs with West London College so far and many of our women are now on building sites and really enjoying earning good money and having a good and interesting role, sometimes in design, in plumbing, sometimes in, in um, office work, but also many women go and do um, electronics with um, the um, engineering companies as well as um, helping on site with labouring or traffic marshal jobs. Um, we have architects and um, engineers. Now in the studio today we have Morena with us. How are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. So Morena, tell us about your role and what you did in that video. I'm a technical manager um, at the Green Quarter in Southall. Uh, we, um, we work on a house development. Uh, so we were in a home, and my apartment was ready to be handed over to the residents. So just before the quality check, I was making sure that everything was in the right place. So what made you do that? Um, um, I studied for architecture um, for, uh, and I, I've been an architect for seven years and been working for Barclay for quite a long time and making, seeing what, uh, uh, being on site quite a few times it made me realise that I really wanted to be there and see the, the building evol evolving mm -hmm. uh, from, from the paper really to the real building, mm -hmm. uh, so that's why. It's not just building trades but soft management skills too. We have two women here with us in the studio, both called Eva. How are you guys doing? Great, thank you. Yes, thank you. So, what jobs do you guys do on site? Um, I am a health and safety advisor with St George PLC, so work in the health and safety team. 
I also do the same also, health and safety advisor with St. George. So it's technically not construction work, right? No, we can't say that on a day-to-day -day basis we're out drilling walls and setting bricks and stuff, but we are on a building site every day and we get to interact with the different trades and people from all different backgrounds on site. Yeah, we offer knowledge, safety, support and training and awareness for contractors and trades on site who are physically doing the work. So what would you say to a young girl that wants to get into this type of industry? Um, what I would say personally is as health and safety is my second career, so I trained as um, a scientist, is to think about health and safety and think about a job in construction when you are young and not think that you know it's not for you or there's not many women in it. Um, it's a very fulfilling job, the fact that we are part of the safety team, making sure that people are going home safe and sound to their families at the end of every day. So it's a really rewarding job. Yeah, I would agree. It's definitely very rewarding. And while safety is my first career, I haven't always worked in construction, but I definitely enjoy its daily challenges. Everything is different from day to day, site to site. So it's, it's really challenging. Industry partners are also involved with helping women into work. Next we hear from two managers of companies actively using this precious resource. Hello, I'm Kevin and I lead on employment and skills for Durkham. We're delighted to be working with women in construction. We've got a massive skills gap in construction across all areas, trades, technical, professional and managerial. We're crying out for bright, talented young people and older people to get into our industry and we're just missing a real untapped source, and that's women. From bricklaying to plastering, through to commercial, technical, all the way through to sales and marketing, all these things contribute to making lovely places and happy homes. The industry is open for everyone. The opportunities are endless, so come and join us. Well, that's our show, and we would like to thank all our guests for sharing their stories with us. As you have seen, women and girls are now going into workplaces that a few years ago were strictly for men. Look at me, a woman on TV. Thank you for watching.